Hey guys, um, I have another video for you. This is, uh, this is, the song is called Burial Applicant, and it's by the Gazette. Um, this is actually a, a pretty fun song to play, and if you haven't seen the video for it, then you should go watch it, because it's actually a pretty nice video, if you actually can understand what's going on in the video. I mean, like, fully understand the meaning. It's really nice, but, um... This is a request from one of my friends. Her name is Vikas, and she's been bugging me for forever to do this. <laughs> and she won't leave me alone, so I finally broke down and decided to make this video. But, <laughs> but actually, I just I wanted to uh, make sure I have enough time to practice it and revise what I play. So hopefully, I'm playing it right, but. I don't have any official score books or anything, but I think this is the right way to play it. But if it's not, and you know a better way, just let me know. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Let's get started. Um, I switch between guitarists in this song. I, um, personally, when I'm doing covers, I don't like to stick to one guitarist if the other one is just not playing anything. Um, Basically, I like to be playing non-stop when I do covers, so if I have a part where I'm not playing, then I'll just play the other guitarist part. So this isn't really... This is a mixture of, of uh, both guitarist parts, so... Alright, the intro is going to be clean. You can play it one of two ways. Um, just the only difference between the two is different places on the fretboard, whichever whichever way you prefer, but the one I prefer is you'll put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, you put your third finger on the third fret of the second string, and then you'll keep those there for now, but you'll be using your pinky too on the fourth fret. But basically you'll be you'll be picking the second string and the fourth string open Four string will be open, but you'll be playing it like this. Basically, you strum one, you hit one, then you hit the open. And if you want to play it a different way, you'll be playing the same same pattern pretty much. But you'll put your first finger, you'll be on the third string, you'll put your um, fingers on the fifth, seventh, and eighth frets. And um, the string you'll be hitting open is the fourth string. But it's it's the same thing, it's just a little different sound. Sorry, my heater just kicked down. Let me close the door real quick. Alright, and uh, basically, after that, you'll kick on your distortion, and it'll go to a part that goes something like this. Basically, you'll, you'll hit you'll hit zero, one, zero on the uh, sixth and fifth strings. You'll be hitting zero, one, zero. Then you'll hit a, um, a power chord on the fifth and fourth strings, and it'll be on the first and third frets. And then so it'll be zero, one, zero. The power chord. Zero, one, zero, one. It's actually really easy. I'm just it's okay explaining things, but uh, basically it does it does that, and then you'll do it again, but you'll add an extra 
little bit at the end of it. So the first and second part go like this. And then you just uh, do the first part again. And that'll be it for this part. The next part it goes to um, you can need to know how to do a artificial harmonic or pinch harmonic, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you don't know how to do that, um, Yuki has a video on this channel for it's some it's called something like guitar tricks for beginners or, or something along those lines. You can um, I'm pretty sure he covered that in that video. If not, you can just look up a different video because there's millions of videos for that. Um, but you'll be hitting zero. One, zero, and then the harmonic you can do one of two ways. You can they'll both be on the third string. You can do that on the second fret, or you can do it on the fifth fret, which I like doing on the fifth fret better. And um, basically, it goes like this. You're actually not supposed to bend the harmonic. You're supposed to just. But I think it sounds a bit better if you bend it. Um, yeah, you can do it on the second fret if you want for the harmonic. It'll just. It's all preference, whatever you think sounds better. Um, then after that, it goes to a part where I switch guitars and you'll be doing kind of like a lead. You'll The frets you're going to be using are 11 on the second string, 11, 10, 8, and 13. And it'll go something like this. But you're actually supposed to uh, drop down your volume a little bit for it because it's kind of like in the background, but um, you don't really have to, I guess. Um, basically, it goes like this up to speed. Basically, you you slide slide from like around seven, or maybe lower if you want, to um, up to eleven, and you pick ten. And then eight, and then after you hit eight, you're gonna slide down all the way. To, you're gonna slide down, then let it go. And then you you hit eleven and ten again. But instead of sliding eight down to zero, you're gonna slide it up to thirteen. Then add a uh, little vibrato on thirteen, and that repeats a couple times. And uh, basically, after that, it goes to, um, I'm pretty sure it goes to that harmonic part again. And then right before the chorus, you're going to be doing three natural harmonics, which, um, again, if you don't know what those are, look it up how to do it. Basically, those are easier to explain than pinch harmonics, but you basically above the fret marker, above the metal bar, you're going to um, just very lightly put your finger on the string. You're not pushing it down, you're just you know, barely setting it on it. And then right after you pick it, you're going to let it go. And uh, Also, I'm pretty sure that Yuki covered that in his video also. But um, what you're going to do is, on the fourth string, you're going to hit, you're going to do a harmonic about the seventh fret. And then you're going to, on the third string, you can do the fifth fret. And then you're going to go back to the seventh fret, but on the second string. And then um, I'm pretty sure they do like a like, like up and down slide. And you're going to be hitting um, a few bar chords here for the chorus. It'll be seven. 
three, five, and then you'll move down to the fifth and um, fourth strings, and you'll have them on the third and fifth fret. Hit that twice, and then you'll go back to the fifth fret, palm you that three times, and then hit three, and it'll go something like this. Like that, and then you, after you do that, you'll hit five, and then um, you'll do a chord, which it'll be six. On the sixth string, you'll be on the sixth fret. On the fifth string, you'll be on the seventh. like that and uh, after that it goes to a part where it's just zero and one you'll palm mute zero and then you'll hit one open and um, up to speed it's like this and uh, play it slowly it'll go like this Usually, the strumming pattern that I do for that is down, down, so I pretty, I, I'm more of a rhythm player so I do lots of down strokes, but um, the, the quick two together you do. Like that, um, but it's all preference really. And after that, it goes to a part um, where you'll be playing similar to the last one, but it, it's a little different. Um, you'll hit zero, and then pull up. You'll hit one, then pull up to zero. And then um, between those, you're gonna put your rest of your hand on the um, strings and mute it and then hit it open and then do the same do the same thing but with the added um, with two of them like yeah something like that and uh I'm actually kind of iffy about that part. Um, I'm not sure if I'm playing that right, but it's kind of quick, so it's hard to hear it exactly. And then that's it goes to a part after that, after kind of like a thrashy type part where um, you'd just be hitting bar chords again on uh, first, third, and fifth frets. And um, this is really self-explanatory, so I won't explain it, but. <laughs> It goes back into the chorus and uh, a couple parts repeat that I've already taught and uh, basically that's it and uh, I also forgot to add in the beginning the tuning um, the tuning is drop B which um, if you want to tune to that I'll put up a sample right here real quick uh, this will be for the A string, which is the fifth fret or uh, fifth string, basically you'll tune to that. And uh, if you also, if you have a tuner, I wanted to point this. Someone wanted me to point this out for him. Um, this is like a standard um, digital guitar tuner. Um, basically, if it has this flat right here, 
to get to the tuning that um, that the Gazette usually uses, you're going to want to drop it down three. Um, press that three times, which I think that means like a step, full step and a half down. I think each one is like a half step, if I'm right. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, if you have any problems with this, um, just let me know. Either uh, I'd actually prefer people to message me on my private channel. Um, I'll put a link in the des description for it. And uh, if you guys have any requests, just let me know. And uh, all right, that's it. Thanks.